For decades, the number of college students majoring in English has been on the decline. Despite this overall trend, English at Gordon College has managed to navigate the changing times and remain one of the college's largest and most well-performing departments. This is a conversation that, that people have been having for um, decades at this point, right? There is this so-called you know, crisis in the humanities. Um, it's been around for some time, and I think part of the trick is always figuring out uh, you know, is this something new? Um, are we, you know, have the variables changed? Uh, do we have reason to be more concerned than we have been over the last 20 years? Uh, or is this the, simply the latest iteration of the, the so-called crisis of the humanities? And, um, you know, and, and how do we weather that storm? Among the reasons that stats attributes to the department's success are a special focus on practical application and an eye to the future. You know, we're a, a program that um, is, is really trying to, to move forward with an eye to the future. So I'm really excited about like all of the opportunities that we've already been talking about. I, I think that we're, we're looking for ways to continue to increase our course offerings, uh, to, you know, to develop programs that are going to appeal not just to your kind of traditional English major, but to um, a wide variety of students who are interested in literature and writing and that sort of thing. So it's a, I don't know, for lack of a better way to put it, it's a happening place. One of the things happening in the department is the newly launched professional writing minor. This aims to help students in business and the sciences have some formal writing training so that when they go into the job, they're better prepared. If you are going through college, your life after college will consist of writing. And um, so, so doing, doing it as best you can um, is, is always in your advantage. Programs like this allow the English department to equip students from a wide variety of majors with the tools they need for success in their respective fields. And especially to people who are in the sciences, they, they will graduate from here and they will have employers, Dow Chemical, uh, Lockheed Martin, Lincoln Labs in Boston, ask them, have you had a course in technical writing? And, and Gordon wants the answer to be yes. It's good for them for the answer to be yes. In addition to new initiatives like the professional writing minor, Reddington also attributes part of the department's success to their unique spiritual community. I no longer know how I would teach writing at a secular institution because what I would see is all this despair and confusion showing up in writing and my institution would not allow me, I would have to go around them, which I hope I would be willing to do, to actually help their writing because there is um, what I can say as a writing teacher is that to teach writing in a pandemic, I think the only ethical way to do it is to pastor your students. Christ will, will meet you in, in the difficulties that are inherent in writing, and that was true before the pandemic. Um, it's, it's true now. And um, so to just embrace Christian community as, as even more central to success in writing than, than I think it ever has been. For Calm 101 News, I'm Chris Landry.